What's going on, everybody? It is May 20th, 2013, and I want to bring you guys some news. Guilty Gear. Not sure how to pronounce the new version of this game, but a new entry into the Guilty Gear franchise is going to release. When? We don't know, but this is a full-fledged announcement for Guilty Gear that has not been out since... Since a, a franchise hasn't been out since 2009, with Guilty Gear 2 Overture being the last one out, I did not play that one. I played... Shit. Sorry. Guilty Gear... Double X. Triple X. I can't remember which one exactly I played. But Guilty Gear is always one of those games, to me, that has always been... Like, a cult favorite. You know, I'll pick it up, play it, and then just put it back in its shelf. Well, anyways... It looks like a new one is in the works, and this is what it looks like. Tell me that doesn't get you hot for a new Guilty Gear game. It looks amazing to me. And at the beginning of the trailer, they actually say that it's going to be powered by the Unreal Engine. I, I'm not sure if. This statement will actually be true, but I believe this is the first time that the Unreal Engine has been done on a fighting game that has full-fledged animated uh, spirits. Again, not sure if that's... I can't really think of any top of my head, but I believe this is the first time. But anyways, that looks hype, and I can't wait. It's in development. There's, I'm pretty sure around E3 or maybe, maybe uh, Tokyo Game Show, there'll be some more definite details. But New Guilty Gear coming looks pretty dope and now we move on to some console news oh yeah I have not heard of this company before but the console to me from what I've actually read and this time I did a little bit of research people looks to be a set top console that will cost a hundred dollars to buy and it seems to work sort of like Apple TV but for gaming um, the cool thing about Oya is that outside of the hundred dollar entry price tag it will run on a free to try basis meaning that if you see a game on the console that you that you might like or you think oh it looks interesting well you get to try out those games like sort of like an extended demo and if you'd like it at that point that will be the moment in which you commit to buy or it says that all other games will be free to try before you buy that is a big step for a company like this because I think a lot of what uh, tends to happen with consoles that die out is that not only is the entry price high, but the games to support that console, that system are high as well. And without the ability to try those games before you try it, you're not sure what you're going to like. Oya has taken that approach out of the equation. From that 100 bucks, you get to try every game that will be in their library before you commit to buying it. Also, their E3 
uh, presence. E3 is a massive, probably the biggest gaming expo in the world that would takes place June 11th through the 13th in Los Angeles, California, three weeks away. They will be there, but they will actually be outside of the exhibit. They will be across the street in a parking lot, and that exhibit will be open to the public. So, if by chance you see this store, you live in the LA area or around the LA area and think, hey, I want to check out this new console, drive down to LA, take the blue line. The blue line drops you off right there on Chick Kearns Avenue. Go down. You can try this for free and check it out again. Or it is $100 to buy off the offset. But every game on the system will be free to try before you commit to buy. Here, are the, here is the actual console and everything that they say they will be committed to. The controller. Oh, yeah, more than just gaming. Um, the specs are a little iffy for me because it, it says that they have Oya oh, yeah, with an NVIDIA Tegra. 3 processor which is a mobile processor and just one gigabyte of RAM so the way it's looking to me that this will be most likely a console that is being released with the indie market in mind meaning you know all those games that you see on PSN or Steam that cost you know roughly 5 to 15 bucks because they're independently uh, developed will be the key focus for Oya which is not bad and the fact that they have that free to try this might actually be like the best way for any developer to get their name out there because as it started in the bottom as well their tools are free so you don't need to pay for an SDK you don't need to pay for a toolkit you don't need to pay for anything they give you the tools for free so if you're an indie developer or you know an indie developer who wants to get into coding and all that stuff hey this looks like a great place to start oh yeah all the links will be down below in the description now tomorrow will be the Xbox reveal prior to the Xbox reveal a day before Sony teases this let's take a look So that was a tease to their reveal because I do believe that PlayStation, or sorry, PlayStation, that Sony will have a massive press conference like to do every year the day before E3 officially starts, which is June 10th, which was shown at the end of that video. Um, also, they have a bunch of screenshots here. And from what I can gather, the PlayStation 4 will kind of look like the second iteration of the PlayStation 3 but with sharper lines if anybody remembers what they look like the, the PS3 was like a big fat you know glossy when it first started then it kind of moved to what was deemed the PlayStation Slim even though that was not officially the PlayStation Slim matted finish smaller profile it looks like it will follow that design but with sharper lines um, more is said to be released June 10th which is roughly three weeks away I wait see what it looks like hopefully it looks awesome now tomorrow May 21st at 10 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. The new Xbox will be revealed. You can watch it on Xbox Live, Xbox.com, and Spike TV. I have blacked myself out from this reveal in every imaginable way. I have not gone on any type of sites to find out the rumors, anything. I want my, uh, Microsoft to impress me and convince me that I need a new Xbox. I will watch the press conference in its entirety. I will have a video so we can kind of go through what was said together. There are a lot of things that I am looking forward to and seeing if Microsoft can actually fix some of the issues that I had with the X360. One of them being, of course, the system needs to be reliable. But outside of that manufacturing process, there's a lot of there's a lot in the Xbox eco structure that I don't like which is the reason why i never bought an xbox 360 hopefully a lot of those can be fixed and alleviated we will find out tomorrow again may 21st at 10 a.m pacific daylight time on xbox live xbox.com 
or Spike TV, or if you want to be super pimp, watch them all three at a time, at the same time, on three TVs. But why would you do that? That just sounds dumb. Well, anyways, that is all the news I have for you today. I'm actually really excited about the new Guilty Gear game. So if it comes out to be pretty sweet, hey, day one for me. But that is it for today. I will see you guys again tomorrow for sure. This has been Corn Beaner. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.